Who gets out of bed and heads directly for the coffee? I know I do. I love coffee. But if you need it to get up and get going in the morning, your cortisol may be out of whack. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sarah Bennett. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor and co-founder of Natural Med Doc. I'm here today to tell you about cortisol, our main stress hormone, why it's important, and why we really need it balanced. All right, so below I have all of the topics that we're about to go over timestamps. So if you would like to jump ahead, go for it, go to the topics of interest. Otherwise, stay tuned. We're gonna go over everything in detail. If you would like a little more detail, I do have an in-depth blog article on my website. Go to naturalmeddoc.com and check out our blog. If you're listening from YouTube, our link to that blog is right below. So what is cortisol? Cortisol is a glucocorticoid hormone produced from our adrenal glands. Those are little glands that are seated right on top of our kidneys. It's really thought of as our primary stress hormone, but it actually impacts quite a bit more. Our sleep, our immune system, our weight, our body fat percentage, and our insulin production. So in times of stress, this will spike up, creating us to be quite a bit more alert and actually sending us into our fight or flight mode. That's what we generally think of cortisol as, but it also regulates our circadian rhythm, naturally spiking in the morning and gradually falling throughout the day to help us to get up in the morning and fall to sleep at night. Cortisol can become imbalanced. In our modern day society, stress is so prevalent, it's so daily. You know, it's, it's waking up late for work, rushing in traffic, take the kids to school, anyways, that alters the production of our cortisol. It actually can become pathological. It can cause issues, cause symptoms, and that's known as HPA axis dysfunction and or adrenal fatigue. So what is HPA axis dysfunction or adrenal fatigue? Well, HPA stands for hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis dysfunction. Don't worry about that. What it's telling you is that our brains basically perceive stress and then tell our bodies how much cortisol to produce. During times of stress, cortisol spikes, but in times of chronic stress, cortisol begins to ride higher and higher. What this means is that it's not being down-regulated appropriately. That's because it's related very much to the same process as insulin resistance. In times of chronic stress, our brain is getting hit with this cortisol over and over and over, and it stops responding. It stops downregulating. So during this time where you're in high stress mode, high cortisol mode, you may experience some symptoms that are really, really unwanted. For instance, anxiety or ir irritability, weight gain, poor concentration, headaches, decreased libido, all of those things can happen when you're in this state. And I know that all of those things I see in my office all the time and they are not wanted. So I like to explain the development of HPA axis dysfunction and adrenal fatigue with a comparison to a sponge. So basically you should think of your adrenal gland as a sponge. In a healthy, perfect world, your sponge starts to produce quite a bit more cortisol in the morning, helping you to wake up in the morning. And then throughout the day, it will gradually decrease the amount that's produced, helping you to fall asleep. This is all in response to a signal from the brain to your gland. Overnight, when you go to sleep, this sponge refills, and then you wake with a full sponge ready to go. Let me know if you experience it. Give me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're going through. We can test this, we can test where your cortisol is at, at each part of the day, and we can treat it. You don't have to live with it. In Addison's disease, the disease process is basically suppressing, bringing that cortisol level down, down to a dangerous level. And if you're interested to know more about this or think that you may actually have that, read my blog article. And in Cushing's, it's the other direction, it's bringing you up. And the symptoms of weight gain, things like that, way more severe. Your risk factors go way up. Again, if you think that might be you, 
read a little bit more about it in the blog article. For all of you people that said that you have been experiencing this, you may also be experiencing a few other things. In addition to waking up in the middle of the night, crashing out in the middle of the day, you may have chronic fatigue, you may have the insomnia, but you may also have anxiety, depression, intense salt cravings, which is a weird one, but it has everything to do with your adrenals malfunctioning. Dizziness, especially when you stand up, low libido, and difficulty losing weight. So in summary, cortisol is so important for our health and is so important that it's balanced. But there's so many of us that are out there walking around with dysfunction in this area. So if you think that you're somebody that has something like this going on, give me a call. Let's get you set up with a free consult and take a little bit deeper look. Look at my blog, read through it in a little more detail. On my blog, I do reference a few things as far as treatments, but this is really complicated. I suggest that you get tested, see where your levels are at, and see how you can get treated. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention, I'm writing a book right now that's gonna tell you about optimizing your health in every basic area that you need to feel great. So if you're interested and you'd like to get on the waiting list, go to naturalmeddoc.com forward slash book and sign up now.